that's all good and well. But how can we make this useful? I want to add a save function onto my customer, which will execute only if data changed and return as quickly as possible if no data changed. Before we do that, I want to wrap the proxy in my own object. That way, when I want to work with a customer, I don't need to construct a proxy every time. I can just construct a customer object. So I just create a plain old function which constructs the proxy and then returns the proxy. I like this because it allows the consumer of my API to work with plain functions and objects but with proxy magic under the hood. Remember, the first object we pass to the proxy is the object we'd like to wrap. So I'm sticking the save function onto that one. Let's call the save function after setting some data. I see I didn't return the proxy from my customer function. There we go. When we run that, you can see that we've got our logging happening for the save function. Now we change the save function to look for a dirty flag. And only if this flag is false, we log a warning and return immediately. The dirty flag needs to be set somehow. And we do that in the set hook we coded up earlier. Meaning, if any data is set on the object, we set the dirty flag. Let's run that. Cool. It's resuming with the save logic. Now, let's remove the code that sets the values and run it again. And quite rightly, it's exiting as quickly as possible from a potentially expensive save operation. Now we're going to make this even more useful. Let's imagine that we want to be able to do atomic Mongo updates in the save operation which would update only the values that were changed in the database. To do this, we add some code into the set hook. In here, we add the names of all the properties that were changed to an array we can use later on. I'm calling this array changed properties and setting it to an empty array if it doesn't exist already and adding the field only if it's not already in the array. We log these fields out in our save function. Now we set some fields on the customer and run it. Cool. You can see that the save function now knows exactly which fields changed. Now we go a step further and build up a string representing a MongoDB atomic update command. I'm pulling in Lodash, which I'll use to do some functional magic to build up an object containing the field names and values from the proxied object, based on the items present in the changed properties array. We end up with a string giving you an idea of what a MongoDB update would look like, only updating the fields that changed on the object. 